Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the new video. Today we will do the sound test of the MTH30 subwoofer. If you haven't seen how we built this subwoofer, check it out. I'll link it in the description. And yeah, so short story before we begin with testing. I will test the subwoofer with three different songs. One hardstyle song and two trap songs. One of them is kind of a gangster. I don't know. I searched for three songs that won't give me copyright law uh, thingies. So yeah, and I will test it with four different microphones. Why? Because I hate subwoofer test videos. Because you can't really tell how it does sound in real life. So I will use four different microphones to test this subwoofer and I, will, yeah, and I will put the microphone one meter away from the speaker. I will note of course everything in the video so you can see what is used right now. Okay, don't waste any more time, let's get started and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!
guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this speaker test, sound test, whatever. Okay, so for a few things to clear, um, I used four different mics because you might heard it. They distort like hell, okay? Um, yes, yeah, so basically it is a bit of a problem because you can't really, I don't really have a good mic to test subwoofers. I mean, the SC440, it takes up the bass quite nice, but the rest, you kind of heard it, it's ah, it's not good. But so I give, gave you four examples, four different microphones with three different songs. So you might get a feeling of it. This kind of cracky sound that some of the mics make isn't because of the subwoofer playing shit, it's because of the microphone can't handle the sound. Okay, so what does it sound in real life? So as me hearing it, I think it sounds quite, quite cool. So yeah, if you don't have a subwoofer, then you can definitely improve your sound experience with one MTH30. If you want to play at a big party for a few hundred people, you maybe need four of them or even eight. Some other effects, I used the TM8A100. Okay guys, and um, the frequency, I crossed the subwoofer out is about 130 hertz, so everything below was played from the subwoofer and a subsonic filter was active, so everything under 20 hertz was dead. Yeah, why? Because, I mean, you can't hear it, I can't really pick it up with any microphone and you probably won't be able to replay it. Yeah. That was it, I hope you like it. If you haven't watched the build video, then check it out. Every parts, every songs, every things that I used in this video are down in the description, so check them out. If you like it, then hit the like button. It motiv motivates me to make more. So yeah, I hope you like it. Bye guys, and we will see you soon.